if you're the guy in black and you catch the guy in white in a triangle choke, you don't want to let the guy in white stand up. You don't want to let me come up to my feet because here there are counters that I can do. Because here, in a fight, if I stand up, I can hit him really hard. If I'm really clumsy and I stand up and then I fall, the bottom guy can hurt his neck. If I'm really strong, if I'm Rampage Jackson, and this is Ricardo Arona, and I pick him up, bad things can happen. So fundamentally, you don't want your opponent to be in a good position. This is a pretty good position. This is a pretty good position. You want your opponent to be in a terrible position. This would be a great position to try and choke someone. It all comes down to weightlifting. No, not being stronger, but what position would you lift weights in? If you had to lift a weight off the ground, would you rather be here, all lined up, with your head up, or how about here, with your head down, twisted to the side, and picking a weight up that's over here? You're much weaker here, all bent up and twisted, than you are lined up. So the goal is to make your opponent all twisted up. Let's assume we've got a triangle choke here. I'm going to put it on fairly loosely because it applies whether the triangle is tight or not. Number one, if he was going to stand up, his head's going to come up. I can go a long way towards disrupting that simply by pulling his head down. Once again, you're not going to squat looking at the floor. You're going to squat looking up. If I can pull the head down, that goes a long way towards disrupting his ability to stand up. Number two is walking on the shoulders. If Rich is here and he just drives towards me, he's coming up higher. He's coming up onto his feet. Also here, he's in a strong position. If I move back, I'm going backwards, dragging him forwards. Harder for him to make base, harder for him to get good posture, and harder for him to not be in this terrible position. It goes together with pulling the head. So number one, pull the head, pull the head, pull the head, pull the head. Number two, walk your shoulders backwards. Number three is turn the corner, and this is good to do just for finishing the triangle. I previously shot videos with Brandon Mullins and Elliot Baev. Both of them have talked in extensive detail about how to finish the triangle choke. I'll link to that here somewhere. But basically, by turning the corner while keeping his posture broken, it's much easier to finish the triangle. It's much harder for him to lift you. So here, we are straight on. By turning the corner, I mean controlling the head, turning perpendicular to his body, and underhooking this arm. How's that gonna come in your feet gonna work for you here, Richie? Oh, it's crappy. Okay, I'll loosen up here a bit. How do you, how would coming up and standing up work here? I gotta square up first. That's the first thing. And right. then build posture. And squaring up is tough when I've got this underhook. Pretty, pretty much impossible. Yeah, because yeah. if I'm here, you can't really circle forward no, my legs. Not without taking you with me. Yeah. So, number three, Hook the arm. You've screwed up. You haven't controlled the head. You haven't walked backwards on your shoulder. You haven't underhooked the arm. As he stands up, you would want to at least minimize the damage, right? You don't want him to pick you up and slam you. You don't want him to do uncontrolled motion so you can underhook the leg. It's not as good as the other ones, but it still works. So we're here. Once again, fairly loose triangle. He stands up. I'm going to under... Circle towards the camera, please, Richard. I'm going to underhook the leg here. This makes it tough for him to stand up. Go. Yeah. And maybe allows me to roll him down. I can go to the mounted triangle and switch to the arm bar. At least I stop him from standing up. Number five. You screwed up on the head pull. You screwed up on the shoulder walk. You screwed up on the underhook. You screwed up on hooking the leg. What do you do? You let go. You let go and fight the guy from the open guard, especially if you're in some kind of environment that allows slamming or punching. So we're here. Richie's done a couple of cycles. He's here, he just powers through my legs. I don't hold on. I open up and I go to whatever kind of open guard that I want. I go to the Delaheva. I go to the old collar and sleeve. I go and sit up and go to shin guard. I go to some kind of open guard because you do have some kind of open guard game, right? Do not let the guy stand up when you have him in the triangle.